If we want to hear from God, if, if we want to know truth, then we must listen to the Son. I am the way and the truth and the life, said the Son. God is speaking to you in a Son. And He's not just the heir of all things. He's not just the creator of all things, but He is very God of very God. And this leads the writer of Hebrews to say in verse 3 that He upholds the universe by the word of His power. He not only inherits all things, He's not only the creator of all things, He's not only the radiance of the glory of God and the exact imprint of His nature, but He is the sustainer of all things. Even as he created everything out of nothing, so everything would return to nothing if he did not sustain it. And he doesn't sustain it just like some kind of caretaker. But rather, he sustains it in a a dynamic way, not a static way. He's sustaining creation by the power of his word that he might bring it to its proper end and its consummation in him. He's driving it. He's the Alpha, and He's the Omega. He's the beginning, and He's the end. All things were created for the purpose and will of God through the Son, and He's directing everything. I've been whitewater rafting a bunch of times, and the person in the back steering is the person you want to listen to. They know what they're talking about. So if they say oars backwards, you, you, you put your oars in the water and you, you paddle backwards. If they say oars stop on the left and row hard on the right, you stop on the left and you row hard on the right because they are driving the boat. They know where they are going. They know the river and they know the perils in it. They know the way to make it to the end safely. He is steering this thing, but not just the boat, everything, All of it. Christ is steering all of history and everything in it to where he desires it to go. He is utterly unique. And where is history headed? It's aimed at the glory of God and the salvation of his people. All of history is but a working out of this reality. Christ's great message is salvation, that God the Father might receive glory. Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And he's directing all of history, orchestrating all of history, determining all of history in order that his people might be saved and God might receive the glory. Every baby born, every disease eradicated, every disease, every death endured, every war waged, every leaf that falls from a tree happens according to the plan of Christ for the glory of God and the salvation of his people. Everything. 